Good morning, you guys. <clears throat> I'm obviously not looking put together at all. It is so beautiful outside today. It's Saturday, by the way. Um, it's like 10 o'clock. I slept in a little bit. I was, I don't know why, I was super tired last night. I had um, my best friend Damien and his wife over. Um, Damien was getting tattooed by Tyler. And me and Sharon, his wife, were painting. And she's pregnant, so we were just... Hanging and talking, we made cocktails and a mocktail for her. It was just a good night, like a really, really good night. And lately, the weather in Florida has been so beautiful. Like, it's been really warm in the day, like around the 80s. And then at night, it is like right in the 60s, like high 60s. It is so perfect. And it's like making me sad that I know it's gonna end soon and it's gonna be humid and disgusting. It makes me so sad. I'm up, I really, really wanna try to go for a run. I'm actually going to the pool today with the girls. Um, and my best friend's mother-in-law lives in a community that has like a big pool So we're just gonna go they're gonna bring the kids and we're just gonna chill and enjoy the day outside It is beautiful outside. I want to see if I can try to show you guys. We have a lake view from my backyard Yeah, like the lake is like straight through there. It is Beautiful out like perfect weather. I need to clean up this whole back area and get like a proper like back patio set I've just been holding off because I'm like, if I'm going to buy my house, I want my patio set to be for my house. I don't know. But I'm about to make my coffee for the day. Tyler already left to work. He has a really, really long day tattooing today. So I'm just putting ice in my thing. He brewed me some coffee before he left. Bless him. And I love me a nice iced coffee i am an iced coffee girl through and through even when i lived in new york and the weather was freezing i would wear my gloves with my iced coffee i'm not sure if i'm gonna have breakfast i'm gonna see but um i really want to try to go for a run again i felt so good the other day when i did like it just felt so good so i want to try to do that but before i do i want to try to upload a video i filmed and edited a um my denim video finally like you guys have been waiting for that for so long that is like the number one video that gets requested every single time i post like hey what kind of video should i make everyone always asks for denim collection denim recommendations and this video i mean i feel like most of you guys know my personality by now i feel like people that are very sensitive find my personality like I don't know either aggressive or even though i'm not an aggressive person at all i'm pretty i'm pretty chill um people can find my personality to be like intense but it's just because like i'm just a very direct person like if i have something to say i just say it and that's it i don't feel the need to like talk like like, like there's people that i follow that i have followed that i have to unfollow because i feel like they're like Performing the whole time and I'm just like that's not my personality. It's never gonna be but never going to be my personality and after almost 31 years I Just this is who I am. So in my denim video I'm kind of like just blunt and talking about why I feel like people always have a hard time finding denim and The misconceptions that people have about jeans. I'm very passionate about jeans. You guys know this already um, So I am plugging in my computer right now to my charger I left it not charging last night. So I'm just going to edit this video while I enjoy my coffee. Not edit the video. I don't even have to edit the video. I need to um, get all the links for all the jeans. So that's going to take me some time for sure. That's probably what takes the longest time editing and get doing like the description and all that. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on that. Um, if I can get done before like 1130, I'm going to go for a run. I'm going to see how hot it is outside. It's probably hot already. I don't even know. We're going to the pool by 2. Yeah, it's 73 right now. So it's like perfect weather. But by 1 o'clock, it's going to be 81. So it's going to be super hot. So I'm going to get started on this to see if I can get out there and just enjoy the weather. Okay, so I'm back from my run. It was fantastic. I sweat a lot. And I don't sweat. I'm not a sweater. I have clothes on. I'm wearing my bathing suit. Just wanted to show it to you guys really quickly. You guys keep wanting fashion content. So here it is. So I'm wearing this two-piece bathing suit that is from BNC. I'll leave it linked down below. Um, and this cover-up that actually just sold out but is also from BNC. And my hat that is also from BNC. If you have not noticed, everything I wear is from my store. I say that all the time, but just in case someone's like, seriously, girl, like anything else? No, because it's all I own. 
I'm making myself some breakfast right now. I just made something super simple. I just did scrambled eggs with some um, shredded up like oven roasted turkey and I'm gonna eat avocado with it. I'm not like super hungry right now, but I know that um, a little bit later I will be. Hot sauce. I definitely need to do a Trader Joe's trip tomorrow because I'm like out of all my stuff. This is my um, habanero hot sauce. It's super spicy. Hey you guys. So I just did like an old co-worker's makeup from Blue Green. Like little pawns on the side. It's, it's crazy. Literally everything that I visualize when I am meditating and like just thinking about my future oh my god i starting to kind of like monday mornings you know they're not so bad maybe it's because i truly do do what i love to do but i like monday mornings it's a new fresh start i plan the week um as you guys saw i had my little morning routine that's basically what i do every single morning i saw some comments saying that i should do like an actual morning and evening routine um so maybe I'll do that. I don't know. Um, so for today, I'm just going to tell you guys what we have going on. It's a lot of boring computer work, if I'm going to be very honest. Um, <clears throat> I already had my coffee. Well, I'm still drinking my coffee. I haven't started on my water intake yet, which I need to. Um, I got up, shower, and I need to get dressed for the day. I need to get back to doing that because I haven't in a bit. Okay, I'm gonna be super lame. <laughs> I'm gonna wear, these are our essential camis. Um, this is a really popular like cami style just in general, not just from BNC. And we got them manufactured last year and they're literally completely gone. So we wanted to make adjustments to it to make it better. So we're actually getting them done with built-in bras. We've been trying to do that literally since last year. As Soon as we started with these, we were like, man, these would be really good if they had like a pad in there. So we have been going back and forth with manufacturers, literally back and forth to try to find the right cup size, going through sample after sample after sample of cups, what cup size would be really good inside of this so that you don't see any of like the lumping or anything. So this is just like an essential for us. We have them in black and in white and I wear it all the time. Unfortunately, it's not available right now. I think it's only available in size large. I can't remember if it's the white or the black, whichever one it is, I'll leave it linked down below in case any of you guys are interested, but they are coming back in a large quantity for the summertime, which I'm very, very excited about. I'll do these jeans again because these jeans are super comfy. Um, these are a pair of our boyfriend jeans. They're very comfy. Comfy. They're nice and thick, but they have a lot of stretch to them. They actually run big because they're boyfriend jeans, which if you no, you didn't actually, I didn't include these in my um, denim collection video, which if you have not seen that video, I finally filmed it and I will leave a link down below for you guys. It's the video, probably maybe a video or two before this, but yeah, these are super comfortable, high rise. They have lots of distress. They're perfect for summertime. So I'm literally just going to put on this and this super super basic super simple outfit so i did i blow i blew out my hair yesterday but i fell asleep with it in a ponytail so it has like this weird kink in it so i need to just fix that because i'm not trying to let my blowout go to waste but this is the cami again it's super super simple and just it's so good and very soft probably one of the softest fabrics in my opinion it's so good um and then these are the jeans here we currently only have these available in size 30. That's it. And they're not restocking, unfortunately. We tried, but we couldn't get them to come back. So I'll leave these linked down below in case any of you guys that are bigger than a size 30. These run very big. I'm normally a size 27 in jeans. These are size 26. And I'll even show you guys how stretchy they are because they run big. Okay, so this is a size 26. I am always a size 27. If my jeans have stretch, I'm a 27. If they don't have stretch, I'm a 28. And you can see even here how much space uh, there is in there. They're very stretchy. So I would say if you're like a size 32, if you're like a size 15 in jeans, these are for you. I'll leave them linked down below for you guys. Again, just in case anybody's interested. So I'm just gonna fix up my hair a little bit. I'm so glad I'm starting to get like my summer color. So that means no makeup. Whenever I get super tan, I'm not like completely tan in my face i had mascara on yesterday and wow this did not come off and i washed my face last night and i showered this morning and it's still some on there but um yeah during the summer most of you guys know if you've been with me for a while i get dark 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 like this is like 
the base of how dark I get. I get dark. So I don't wear any makeup around that time because I normally can't match any of it. Not even my tinted moisturizers, nothing. So I'm almost there. Yesterday we went out and I did not wear any makeup and it felt amazing. I just did mascara, brows, and like lip balm and it was fantastic. I'm gonna fix up my hair really quickly just to get that kink out of it. Yeah, like you see right there, like what is that? I know I can't be the only one, whoa, the sun is coming in weird. So my lashes, since I've like barely been wearing makeup at all, I'm just gonna set my camera here, there we go. Since I've barely been wearing makeup, like I literally don't wear anything anymore, um, unless like it's tinted moisturizer, like my whole little routine, but I have not been wearing lashes. I don't even remember the last time I wore lashes. My lashes have gotten so long and I don't have long lashes, like I don't have naturally big, beautiful lashes, but my lashes are getting super long. And does this happen to anybody else? I put on my mascara and then I have to sneeze and then I sneeze and there's black all underneath my eyes. So I have to wait for that to dry. Yeah, this is basically my <laughs> makeup routine in the summer. I'm not trying to do nothing except without these dark raccoon eyes. But I'm gonna get some work done now. I'm gonna try to see if I can start editing a video. I think I have a video like in the shoot. I, I can't really remember, but I'm gonna get my day started. I'm gonna light my candle. I need to get started on this water. Bad, like bad. So I'll see you guys a little bit later because you've already seen how this goes and this isn't very exciting. Um, just because I sit on a computer like almost everyone else. So I'm gonna get this started. Happy Monday. I hope you guys have a great start to the day. It's 10 a.m. Well, it's 9.51. I always try to make sure that I'm ready and ready to start my day by 10 on the dot. I'm gonna get started, I have to answer some emails, do some stuff at the store, stuff like that, and then I'll see you guys a little bit so later. So I figured I'd show you guys a little bit of what I'm working on today. Um, usually, Mondays are, well most days are very computer heavy, um, just cause we're going back and forth with vendors, we're going back and forth with manufacturers, we're, you know, creating stuff on the website, stuff like that. Um, but right now, well I started this on Friday, we actually have a photo shoot this week. And I'm creating the mood board for it. And this is kind of what it looks like now. So I've been, I was on my computer like all day Friday starting this. It takes a long time. So this is kind of like the vibe. And then I'll break it down based on color, based on like inspiration behind the color, stuff like that. And then I'll go into, um, poses and poses that would work really well for each piece and stuff like that so i'm gonna finish this up today i need to wrap it up by today because we're probably gonna do our photo shoot either wednesday or thursday um so i just want to have this done so that i don't have to worry about it anymore i can send it to the models uh, me and brendalyn could go over it see if we want to change anything add anything anything like that um so that's kind of something that i'm working on and then i have to go and create some products um, on the back end of the website and stuff like that and I've already responded to some emails all that good stuff so I just wanted to show you what I'm finishing up today which is this this little mood board and then I'll move on to like the next task of the day My glasses put so much glare on the camera when I'm recording that all you see is like shine. 
You get the anti-reflective coatings and all that. I have that on the other ones, the brown ones. So we just got back from a walk. We did like two miles ish. Um, ah. oh. my fault. Okay, so I'm about to make dinner. I'm very hungry. Um, I ate pretty light today just because I wasn't like super hungry earlier. But to get a new whoa I'm not gonna show you guys what I'm making today just because it's not a what I eat in a day but I um it's beautiful outside and Tyler actually cleaned up the back he actually cleaned the whole house today which was lovely Normally I clean the house on Saturdays and it's like my whole day but since this Saturday I was at the pool um I just I didn't clean so he ended up cleaning. I think I'm gonna sit out there later on once I'm done with dinner and all that. It's so like relaxing and pretty out. I need to get more citronella. That's the reason that I don't sit out there as much is because the mosquitoes are bad. We have tiki torches that have citronella in them, but for some reason they will like bite you through your clothing, all that. So I am making salmon i already have the salmon like seasoned i defrosted it this morning and then i'm gonna do rice i have a little bit of brown rice left and i think i already have white rice which i'm gonna be really happy yes so i literally don't have to cook anything but the salmon i got white rice for tyler and then i'm just gonna do some greens green beans um spinach Let's do some green beans. These are some organic green beans from Trader Joe's, some baby spinach, and I'm gonna use the soyaki. If you've never tried this from Trader Joe's, it is so good with everything, with shrimp, with chicken. It's a teriyaki sauce that has um, soy sauce, garlic, ginger, sesame seeds. Very good for your salmon. Like it's super tasty. It's 40 calories for a tablespoon, seven grams of carbs if you're like paying attention to all that. So it's just, it's pretty good. So I'm about to cook this. Enjoy some music. I have a song I want to put you guys on to. The song is called Smile from the artist Mills. I'm obsessed with it right now. I'm about to listen to him and just hit shuffle and let him play because I love him. Just search the song Smile and the artist is Mills. It's really good. morning fam well dry shampoo is soaking in my hair right now i am struggling today guys i <sighs> tried to go to bed somewhat early i usually am trying to be in bed by like 10 30 um well, let me try to set you guys up <sighs> yeah i try to be to be in bed now by 6 th by 10 30 we had like such a good routine yesterday. Went for a walk, had dinner, just chilled. So I was like super relaxed. Laid in bed and I couldn't fall asleep. Fell asleep for like 30 minutes and then I woke back up. And then I woke up every single hour from one to like 5 a.m. because my allergies are ridiculous right now. As you can see, my nose is very red, very swollen. Um, I suffer from very, very, very bad seasonal allergies every year every single year i always sound like i'm sick but it's literally just sinuses i'm about to take a claritin in a second because i am struggling and then at like 6 a.m our fire our smoke detector started beeping because the battery was dead so it beeped all the way until about eight until tyler finally got up and took it off and change the batteries and it's still beeping so it's kind of like the episode of friends where phoebe's fire alarm doesn't stop beeping so tyler put it outside like it's on our it's on our front porch i am struggling i really really want to film today though i want to film a um another like fashion tips video so i think i'm gonna like try to get it together and film that 
um that's why i have dry shampoo in my hair i like to let my dry shampoo soak for a little bit wow i look hurt um i have my coffee i did way more espresso than normal because i'm just tired i think i'm gonna get a few things done for work and then by like noon by like noon i'm gonna record this video so i need to schedule up my day just so i stay on track so i'm gonna drink my coffee start drinking my water take my claritin and get my day going um i tried even getting dressed i have on our henley tank and some jeans i have on some levi's and normally that makes me feel more productive but i feel like i'm gonna have to put on my makeup and do all that to really really feel okay um but the inside of my nose is like raw from how much i was blowing it it's just i don't usually have days like this even if i'm tired it's not because of lack of sleep it's just because i'm tired but today it's like a total lack of sleep i might even end up taking a nap today i don't know i want to try to get out and go on a run um today tomorrow and thursday it's gonna be 90 degrees and then it's gonna drop down to 77 the weather here is so weird so today i need to the three main things i need to do is edit vlog create products for bc film 10 tips and then everything else i need to do today is um plan feed complete mood board um, if i can start to edit video if i can upload it today that'd be great what else do i need to do um okay so i'm gonna get my work started for the day it's 9 30 i'm normally like the ball is rolling by 9 30 normally um so i'll keep you guys updated later i do have a haul that i need to film pretty soon i need to write down everything that i have for the haul so that i know if i'm missing anything that i need to wait for so don't mind my hair <laughs> i clipped it back because i'm about to do my makeup for the day and i just realized that all of my makeup right now is too light for me as you can see this is like more yellow uh neutral and undertone this is definitely more warm in undertone and this is just way too light once i start getting sun like once i start getting really tan i get very uh red in undertone so i gotta switch my makeup so i'm looking now to see what i can switch it to i have this drawer in my um closet that has basically like all my other makeup and then i have some stuff over there that i need to look through but I think the only thing that's gonna match me right now is this one, which is my Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. I love this foundation. It's so expensive, but it's so good. I wanna put a little bit of makeup on just cause I'm not feeling too hot. And when I darken my foundation, I have to also darken my concealer. This is definitely not it. So, so far I have the skin fetish foundation i have this shade medium 21 it's like my dark summer shade once i get darker than that i just don't even wear foundation because there's no point i need to also change my powder so i'm switching over to my sephora collection micro smooth but this is the darker shade that i have which is the shade 35 when i'm lighter i use shade 30 then i also need to switch to my darker trio um this is the trio that i created with dame boss i'm right now using the light one but that's way too light for me now um so i gotta use that i'll at least start with this and then i think i'm gonna try this darker concealer just to see and hopefully switching those things will work so let's see yeah this is like where i do my everyday makeup in this little tiny drawer i didn't want like a get ready sorry Music is loud. I didn't want like a get ready room anymore. Um, I just wanted to get ready like normal people do because I wanted to use that other room as my actual work 
space when I'm working from home, which is pretty often. Um, so itchy. So, usually when I get super itchy like this, my skin gets dry, so I'm using the Makeup Forever um, Hydrating the Step 1 Equalizer. One of my favorites. I usually in the winter, or in the summer, use um, something more mattifying because it gets disgustingly humid here. Like, bad. Like, it's bad. So normally I use C2.5 from Morphe. You can see this is very light. So I'm switching to C3. So CT C235, I'm going to C315. So I'm putting this over here to the side so I can take it to the other one. And then this was the Ultimate Face Trio that I was using before. You can see like what, that's like lighter than my skin now. But I hit pan, I used it pretty much all like winter, fall and winter. Um, so I'm switching over to the darker. Same with my powder. This is the one that I have right now. Um, this is the color 30, obviously, and then I'm switching over to 35, which is the darker one. That's my favorite face powder of all time. And then, I'm trying to see what else I need to switch out. I think that's pretty much it. Everything else is pretty standard. I guess we'll just get ready. If you struggle with allergies, I feel you. I've suffered from allergies my entire life. I already took a Claritin. I've tried everything, trust me. I need to get like a shot or something because it's bad. And literally, if you go to my any of my videos throughout like the years, every year, right around like February, March, April, I sound like this. All right, so I'm using this Sigma Flat Kabuki F80 brush and the Pat McGrath um, foundation. This is very, very lightweight. Oh, yes. I love this foundation, but as soon as I start to fade in color, um, it doesn't match me anymore. It gets a little too dark, but right now, this is literally perfect. I'm so happy. This is like my only foundation that I use in the summer because it's so lightweight, and during the summertime, it is so ridiculously hot here. Like It's usually in the high 90s, if not hundreds, and humid, like 100% humidity. So, when it's that hot, if I'm gonna be outside, I'm not wearing makeup. Drag this down, because my neck always stays pretty light. But I love this, it looks like skin, it looks super natural. It's just very, very pretty. And then I'm going with concealer. Yep, this one is perfect. You probably can't tell, because I have my, there we go. Yeah, that's like the true color. My redness right here. And this is my favorite concealer, like, favorite, favorite. I think it's super underrated. I feel like nobody talks about it except for Jaclyn Hill, but at this point, nobody believes anything she says. So I feel like they don't trust it, but I've been using this for years now. I've mentioned it many times on my channel in many favorites videos. Um, I love it. And this is just basically the summertime version of my everyday makeup. I think I mentioned I only use like tinted moisturizers and um, like complexion products. I don't do anything really on my eyes anymore. And I really like it because my lashes are starting to get longer. Oh, and this brush is the Sephora Pro Sculpting Brush. It's a blush brush, but I like it for concealer. I always used to use it when I worked at Sephora as, con as a concealer brush. I need like a brush for setting my under eyes. I'm using, this is like a little fan brush. It's a Morphe M10. I'm just using it because it's very, very, very um, lightly packed so it won't like pack a ton of product on. And I'm just using this to like dust. As you guys can see, my makeup style has changed a lot. I think also coming with age, I just, that whole full face thing just is not doing it for me anymore, especially doing what I do for work. I don't need to wear lashes and all this stuff anymore. I use the brow definer in medium brown from Anastasia. It's not like my holy grail. I don't even think I have a holy grail because I don't think I care that much anymore. Um, but I've been using this one for a while because you barely need product and I have really dark brow hairs. I don't have like the thickest brows. I'm not like a super hairy person. 
I wish I was because people that have a lot more body hair have the best lashes and the best eyebrows. I guess it's like a blessing and a curse, but man, everybody I know that's like hairier, just has like way more body hair, has the best brows and lashes, like super long, curled, all that. I don't, I have really fine hairs pretty much everywhere. My lashes, my brows, I think I'm getting a pimple like on my eyebrow. Some brow gel. Especially in the summer, like I don't know how people wear makeup in the summer. It is so hot, like too hot. Even on vacation, on vacation I don't wear makeup at all. Oh wait, this has to go. So I'm using the Ultimate Face Trio. My collab with Dame Boss and I'm picking up the bronzer. This is more of a warm bronzer, which is what I prefer in the summertime. I cannot do cool tone bronzers at all in the summer because they look great. So I wanted something very bronzy that looks nice and warm on tan skin that doesn't make us look like we have muddy face and this is exactly what i wanted it to be it's perfect if i do say so myself um no but this comes in three colors if you didn't see the like when i did the video on it um, this comes in three colors. I'm using the blush now. It's like the perfect everyday peachy blush. I wanted like a peachy, like a muted peachy color. Go on to the highlight. It's like a perfect like golden highlight, but it looks super soft on the skin. It's not like super chalky or anything. And the last thing is now I'm like obsessed with curling my lashes because I only wear mascara now I need to get my um Monsieur Big mascara that's literally the best mascara of all time I haven't used it in a in day I haven't used it in a really long time but it's my favorite if you've been here for a while you know this one is just the L'Oreal Voluminous blackest black this one I've just been using it because it's there and I'm trying to use what I have before buying anything new. So I'm just tired of all the clutter, to be honest. I'm tired of all the stuff. Too much stuff. And I still have too much stuff after I've gotten rid of so much. Like now when I go out, if I'm not wearing lashes, it's very rare at this point that I'm wearing some. I just like load up the mascara. Like I'll do like 10 coats of mascara just to get them like as fluttery as I can. And I always end up like touching up here with mascara so i just wait until it dries and then i scrape it off with a spoolie all right that is pretty much it for the makeup i just have on the laneige sleeping mask and that is basically it here's my everyday makeup i'll see you guys a little bit later so just to show you guys my little outfit today don't mind my curling iron i'm waiting for it to cool down before i put it away i have on the latte oat not oat not latte the Oat Essential Tank from BNC. I love it. This color is so good. These are a pair of Levi 501 skinnies. I'll try to leave them below if I can find them. And then I have on my Dior slides that match the top perfectly. So I'm about to get my day started. My battery is blinking. So I already know I need to charge my camera. So I'll see you guys a little later. All right. So it's been my closet door is literally always open. It's been a couple of hours. I got some work done on the computer. Um, I got a lot of the planning that I had to do done, which is good. I am about to make myself some food because my hunger is starting to kick in. I have a delivery. I have a package delivering today is what I meant to say. And I'm about to make some breakfast. I had on my menu that I wanted to make oatmeal today, but I don't know if I'm craving oatmeal. Like I kind of want something not oatmeal i'm just gonna make my oatmeal <laughs> after all that i think it's because i don't have bananas and i really like bananas in my oatmeal but i'm trying to get through all of my groceries without buying more food like i'm running out of like everything like this is the last of blueberries that i have i have a little bit of strawberries hopefully they're not bad I have like no spinach, I have no tomatoes, 
I'm out of turkey, I'm running out of everything, but that's good because I wanted to do that. Like I didn't want to keep buying stuff without using what I actually have in my fridge. I still have so much stuff in my freezer, but I'm trying to use it all. I was also working without my glasses on because I'm trying to wait to, I have nowhere to put my, like my camera over here. I'm trying to wait to put my glasses on to film my video because every video I film, if I wear my glasses, the glare is so strong that all you see is like white on my face. And then I ha when I take my glasses off, I have like the huge marks right here and I have marks on my cheeks. So I'm trying to wait to put my glasses on until after I'm done filming. So as soon as I eat, I'm going to um, film the 10 tips for looking more stylish or more expensive. I don't know what I'm gonna name it yet. I gotta figure it out. And I'm almost out of peanut butter. I'm like literally running out of everything. All right, I finished. I'm about to drink an aha. I know a lot of people don't like sparkling water, but I freaking love sparkling water. Like I have like rows of it in my fridge. The lime watermelon flavor. Super good. I need to figure out how I wanna film. I just don't like my TV in it. Ugly. Mm. Maybe hair is good. Yeah. So I'm about to film this video so that I can upload it to my computer, edit it, and try to have it uploaded by today. And then I think I'm going to take a nap. I am so tired. I'm like pushing through, but I'm tired. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then once I wake up, hopefully I get to fall asleep. I'll be so mad if I don't fall asleep. Once I wake up, I'm gonna go, definitely go for a run. See if that helps. Oh my God, the amount of pollen that I see is like scaring me. The Claritin definitely did work though. So I'm happy about that. Down my notes, I always write everything down when I wanna film. I'm gonna get started so I can film this and take a little nappy. All right y'all, I just finished filming my video. Every time I film like chatty videos, my throat hurts, <laughs> like my voice box hurts box hurts you'll probably have already seen that video by the time i upload this one so if you didn't i'll leave it linked down below i'm trying to get really creative with my um thumbnails now i don't know if you've noticed i hope you have because they take a lot of time Ugh, i'm getting up now i'm like waiting for my package to get here i bought a bathing suit because i am it's actually beautiful outside for my best friend's birthday i'm going to a pool thing this weekend and she wanted us to all wear like color coordinated swim so i bought one uh from a brand called gooseberry i'll leave their site down below even though i don't have the bathing suit to show you but it is going to be a part of my haul i also have i need to look at all the stuff but i have a video that i want to film that is like things that i've purchased that i don't really like or like things that i don't use or things like that definitely want to do that video i've been like on a roll so i want to make sure i'm keeping like filming them as the ideas come to me so that i can just like keep uploading content it is beautiful outside today get the wind it's so, i actually like want to sit right here and do my work maybe i'll sit in the backyard it's just those freaking mosquitoes attack. <sighs> I should probably look through my comments. Usually you guys comment really good recommendations. <sighs> now I can put my glasses on. I'm gonna get this stuff written down. It's one o'clock and it is like prime nap time. Good morning, guys. It's St. Patrick's Day, which is why I'm wearing green. Um, so happy St. Patrick's Day if you're Irish. Uh, today is Wednesday and I've just been working. I ended my night yesterday editing my 10 tips to look stylish video um, and creating the thumbnail. So I was up to like 10 something doing that. I didn't really have anything to say yesterday um today's just another work day so i don't really want to keep vlogging because it's the same thing as all the other vlogs um tomorrow i'll probably pick back up on vlogging because we have a photo shoot so i'll just probably record like a little behind the scenes and 
whatever else I do but it's beautiful outside today if you live in Orlando and you're not outside I mean by the time you see this it's probably too late but it's gonna be in the 90s today which is wild hope you guys enjoyed the vlog I will see you guys in the next video keep all your recommendations coming because I am trying to crank them out as I think of ideas as I look at you guys suggestions but I'll see you guys in the next video